We are talking about a new tool that we can introduce a new conversation on risk management. From a risk leader, it really allows us the opportunity to fly in many different conditions. How are we giving firefighters um, a tool that they can they can utilize on a, on a daily basis. It's also beneficial to giving them real-time information. My name is Dirk Jaus. I'm the UAS Program Manager for the Forest Service. I'm Justin Baxter, and I'm the National UAS Operations Specialist. And my name is Kelly Boyd. I work for the U.S. Forest Service. I'm the National UAS Aerial Ignition Specialist. Robert Trincado, the Director of the National Interagency Prescribed Fire Training Center. My name is Tyler Mungle. I'm the R9 UAS Aviation Specialist, and this is and this is and this is and this is the UAS Aerial Ignition Academy. The UAS Aerial Ignition Academy is a place where we can train our UAS pilots to fly UAS um, on prescribed fires, and also give them experience using aerial ignition devices uh, to further help fire managers with prescribed fires. So, aerial ignitions um, we use. It's a, a system created by a company called Drone Amplified, and it uses, um, they're called dragon eggs. Um, they look like uh, about the size of a paintball, and they're filled with a chemical, and when that chemical is mixed with ethylene glycol or antifreeze, you get a chemical reaction that, that creates a small, a small fire on the ground. So we'll, use, we'll utilize the UAS to fly the units and um, drop the dragon eggs to start little fires. Um, it, instead of having um, a firefighter walk across the unit or, um, or again using a manned helicopter to do it. We're here at Tall Timbers Research Station. It's a beautiful campus that affords us the opportunity to have a classroom setting and then 50 yards outside of the, of the classroom we can actually start to fly in a really cool environment. It's a four-day course and it's split up each day um, between classroom, the classroom portion, and then some objective-based flight exercises in the afternoon. We start out with kind of the introduction to the aircraft, and then we'll move into um, the payload itself, the aerial ignition payload itself, um, maintenance, cleaning, setup, breakdown. Um, we'll move into kind of concepts of, of firing as a whole, and then uh, the concepts of aerial firing. So. Um, burn patterns and you know how to how to really get the effects on the land that the, the managers are looking for. What we have an opportunity here is to teach in the classroom and and then immediately apply those skills from the classroom into this safe environment. You know, it's a controlled environment for us. The academy is going wonderful. I couldn't ask for a better week of learning and information sharing, networking. All of our modules are made up of, of such a huge diverse background of students from all different agencies. My favorite part of the academy is just to be involved in the environment. UAS is a new field and it's continuing to grow. So getting to meet the people that are pushing the program forward from whether or not that's at that higher level of leadership with those more experienced pilots or the people coming more into this role and starting to fill that gap there and being able to create those bonds as an agency. These students here are future instructors. And so they're also getting that benefit as well. They've been hand selected by program managers and their supervisors that this is the future of the unmanned aerial systems and specifically with aerial ignition. Right, whether you're hiking, whether you're burning, whether you're holding a line on a wildfire, holding a line up on a prescribed fire, the UAS can also patrol and scout lines that otherwise would have either A, have to have to been flown by a helicopter, or you would have to t send a module in to recon it in advance. So th there's so many benefits to this. The base rule of aviation is, is this flight necessary? Um, so now we have a new tool to insert into that scenario of maybe we should not be flying a helicopter there. Maybe we can use this system or now we can actually unlock different opportunities where we couldn't use some of our piloted assets um, due to smoke or at night, but now we can use uh, an unmanned system within that profile. And so to really lock down on our safety case for the agencies. I think it, it really comes down to that idea of, of working smarter, 
not harder, and, and utilizing the technologies that are, that are out there to our advantage. That's my guiding focus is to increase safety for our overall employee well-being.